This example will show us how to create a pivot table using VBA. So this is our data here for shipping companies. These are the two shipping companies, United Carrier and International Route. And we want to create a pivot table based on this data. So first we will go in Developer, Visual Basic, create, insert a module here. Once you've done that, we will write our code. So this is our sub procedure called create pivot. We have a pivot cache, which is my cache, and pivot table, which is my PT. So these are the two main objects which um, have all the properties of the pivot table creation that is needed. So first of all, we set which is equal to active workbook dot pivot caches dot create. So this is an Excel database worksheet. The name of the worksheet is data shipping, as you can see here. And the range is B3 to E27. So this is the range from B3 to E27. We mention the range and we say Excel pivot table version 14. Next we set our pivot table which is called my PT, which is equal to worksheet data shipping dot pivot tables dot add. So you add the pivot cache which is my cache in this example as we've mentioned here. The range that we want our pivot table is G3 and you call this pivot table pivot table 1. So you just give a name to the to this pivot table. Next we write for the creation of the pivot table we write with my PT. You say pivot fields. So this you can design according to your needs. So in this case, we say that the shipping companies, we want it in the column fields. So we say shipping companies dot orientation. So we want it in the column field. So we write Excel column field. For maximum weight and for days to arrive, we say row field. For costs, it's a data field since all the costs will be visible under the row and the column as data and finally we write for sum of costs dot function so we want the sum of costs here which are the minimum cost here so we want to show that and then we end the width statement after that if you want to show the row grand or the column grand you can write it true in this case, we don't want to show it to the user, so we write it as false. Next, we write my pivot table dot pivot fields for maximum weight pounds dot subtotal six. So six in this case stands for minimum. It's a code for minimum, and we write is equal to true. So here we're going to find the minimum cost. And similarly for days to arrive, we write dot subtotals is equal to six is equal to true. Next, suppose if you want to find data for a particular shipping company called International Route and you want to find the cost for this company when its maximum weight is five pounds. So you use the, the object get pivot data and you want to show the user this answer. So you write that in message box data, and then you can mention all your criteria in these brackets. After that, you can write active workbook dot show pivot table field list is equal to true. If you want the user to get the field list on the side, once clicked on the pivot table, you can write this as true. If you don't want to show it, you can write it as false. After that, we write another with statement um, with my PT. You write dot pivot fields days to arrive dot pivot items one dot visible is equal to true. So as you can see here, we have days to arrive as one, eight, two, and four. So you can see in this data, days to arrive are one, two, four, and eight. So we want to make only one and eight visible. And so we write this as true. And 
to and for we don't want the user to see it so we write dot visible is equal to false we end this with table we end this with statement and that's the code once you've done that you can press play so as you can see uh, as we mentioned in the get pivot data so we said for shipping company international route when the max weight is 5 so let's see if that is true so the answer in the message box says it's 0 0.5 so international route for 5 pounds you have the minimum of 1, 3, 1 and 0.5 so the answer here 0 0.5 is true so the cost is right it's 50 cents which is true so that is the get pivot data object so you click ok so this is your pivot table as we mentioned earlier our shipping companies are in the columns and our rows are the max weight and days to arrive the cost is the data field here and once you click on this, you get your pivot field list. Uh, since we said it as true. Also, we mentioned if 1 and 8 will be visible. So as you can see, only 1 and 8 are visible for days to arrive. 2 and 4 are not shown to the user. We can also find that the grand total and the column total are not shown to the user as you can see there are no totals here so we cannot find that and also the minimum is visible since we made that as true for the user so this is your pivot table next to create a chart based on your pivot table we write charts.add and then we write active chart dot set source data and the source is worksheets data shipping range so we write the range here which is G3 to I15. So we write that and we press play. So this is the chart that we get from this code.